Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear Workshop. My name is Pat Bear and I'm here to build model kits and to talk with you about various subjects including anime and pop culture and current events and wrestling maybe, you know, various things. Uh, Duramant's here in the chat. I'm going to throw the Bear Cave Emote in there. Uh, if you're a subscriber, you can throw the Bear Cave Emote in as well. Wait a few more minutes to see if anybody else wants to join us before we start doing the build build. Uh, Saturday is our light evening. Often times you don't have a ton of folks here on a Saturday. But happy to build. Happy to be here. Um, so tonight I will be assembling uh, as many. Uh, oh, Jam's here. Hello, Jam. Um, but we've got kits to build um, that are Tony Tony Chopper related. Hello, Mr. Bob. Lastberg is here. Great crew already. Outstanding folks. Uh, up and down, left and right. Fantastic people. But yes, um, so I started buying these, uh, and a couple that were here in the U.S., but there are five kits, and the f one of them was coming from Japan, just arrived today. Uh, so I wanted to wait till I had all five kits because the idea is they're small mini kits and you build each one and each one is a vehicle based loosely on or concepted on one of the points of Tony Tony Chopper from One Piece who can transform as a reindeer who can transform into other versions of reindeer and then you take all five and combine them together to make a giant Tony Tony Chopper. Uh, and it's going to be real cool and fun, and I'm excited to build it. And I'm happy you're here. As I said, wait a couple of minutes to build these, but um, lots of not a lot of stickers on the first one, but but a few stickers here. Uh, this is basically the fortress is what we're building. Um, he ate the human human fruit. Hi Pat, nice to see you. On, on basically, yes. Uh, uh, hello and welcome to the chat. Um, Someone should make eight model kits that each combine together to represent a bionicle. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah, so this is the second in a series. There's another series of Tony Chin Chopper, and uh, they come together to make the giant monster point. And that's fun, but the idea of having a big Tony Chopper full of tiny Tony Choppers was more appealing to me. Also, I don't know if each one does, but at least the very first one... We're going to make two little choppers, one that can sit in the vehicle and one that can just hang out. So we're going to make two tiny Tony Tony choppers today. And those choppers, one of those is going to be able to sit in a big vehicle that is also Tony Chopper's head. Because the the first one is the biggest box. Uh, this is the, the uh, one box. All the other boxes are basically this size. You can see here. Um... But yes, this is uh, uh, this is the guard fortress uh, we're going to build here. Guard point. Um, one is the chopper, the other is the chop A. Yes. Um, I don't know if there's a Frankie Shogun or General Frankie. Um, I don't know if they make that. I know, But I know there's two sets of these chopper kits. Now, the closest we've gotten to building this... Um, we'll go to the overhead now because we got enough people here to really get into it. Hello and welcome. Um, uh, so yeah, here's here's our set. So I've, I've done a little assembly here. So basically we're going to build two choppers. One with just like an open mouth. You can kind of see that there. And one that has a big old uh, tongue out mouth. And the tongue out mouth is going to have the eyes above it. You can see, or it's going to not have those. It's going to have the stars for eyes because one of the gimmicks that I really love about one Piece is the idea that almost every boy and man in the One Piece universe loves robots. They find it to be manly and like romance. And it's a silly, very silly thing. But when Frankie shows up uh, to Punk Island and all the little kids are there, all the guys are just like, oh, it's a big robot. And all the girls are just like, uh, I don't know. Uh, and... I think that gag, while it is gender normative and not cool to say that all boys are like this, all girls are like that, uh, the fact that they repeat that gag makes me like it more. Uh, last book, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do many spoilers. Um, robots and Beatles, you're right. That is, I mean, that is a trope with in Japan. So we're going to do um, stars for eyes, open mouth, chopper and then we're going to do like kind of nice eyes uh 
smaller mouth for Chopper, and that one will be the one that just, like, hangs out. And the one that's in the robot is going to have stars for eyes because this Chopper is going to be so excited about the idea of being inside a big robot. Because Chopper is in the show, anytime Chopper gets to be in any part of a robot, it's very exciting. Uh, I'm not even to the point where they are robots. Yeah. So they're robots. Uh, hello, Epic Open World. Happy to have you here. Um, so Frankie is, is a cyborg. And then after the time skip, the time lapse, time jump, whatever you want to call it, he is even more of a cyborg. He is an unbelievable cyborg, uh, and Chopper is so excited about that. Um, I would say that Luffy is middle ground excited about robot stuff, and, and that kind of men's romance, as it is called a little bit in the series. Um, but, uh, but it is very clear that, like, it's not something that Sanji or Zoro are really into. They're, you know, it's it's just not their thing. Luffy is trying to make his way back to the rematch. Oh, wow, yeah, Lastbrook, yeah. Um. Okay, so you're in Skypedia. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Lastbrook, I am... I don't know how it happened. But when it comes to One Piece, I'm anime caught up. Believe me, I never thought I would be. I stopped watching it for a very long time. But then I, I hit a point in, with like my Crunchyroll account where I like watched a lot of stuff that I had been meaning to catch up on. And then I was like, all right, I think it's time. It was either get caught up on One Piece or get caught up on Bleach. And honestly, they're done with Bleach. And a lot of Bleach is filler that isn't great. And so I went with One Piece because they were going to start doing it again. And I was like, well... Fuck, I guess I'll watch. Um, so I went back to One Piece. And I'm happy I did. But I am, yeah, I'm caught up. Cake Island. Skypedia is cool. Yes. Yes, uh, Af, it is very cool. But yeah, you don't have to know One Piece to know that... Here, Here's all you need to know about One Piece. Chopper fucking rules. Chopper is a reindeer that ate a fruit that can make it like a human. Um, and Chopper is the only kind of tsundere I like because Chopper is only tsundere about compliments. Chopper cannot handle being complimented. When you tell Chopper, the, you know, and show Chopper love, Chopper goes like, shut up. Why would you think I like compliments and does a dance? And clearly is very happy that you are pleased with the work that Chopper does. Chopper is also a fucking doctor. Chopper is a doctor reindeer that can eat things and transform into big bon into various things. He, there's a lot going on, and he's great. Uh, I started reading uh, One Piece when I caught up with the anime. Now I'm casually watching and reading it religiously. Yeah, I've never gotten into the manga. Um, Okay, so we're done with one head. Now we're going to go and do the other head. Uh, then we'll do the two bodies. This is so... Uh, let's see, we need... T2. But yeah, um, I saw these on Amazon and decided I really wanted to build them. Uh, Harold is now hosting the stream. Thank you very much, Harold. Always appreciate it. Uh, always appreciate that, Harold. Um... Chopper is Rudolph the Red uh, Reindeer plus Super Doctor plus Sundere for compliments. The best combo. Yeah. As I said, the only Sundere I like because I, in general, don't enjoy that trope. But with Chopper, I do because he's not like, he's only just, can't he can't handle compliments. And I think that's a fun little character trait for a very cute, fun friend. Because Chopper is cute and fun. Also, there's an ongoing joke where um, uh, the world government thinks that Chopper is just the pet or mascot of the, the pirates. So he has a incredibly low, um, just basically disrespectful 
bounty on his head. Because people were like, yeah, I, I guess catch the catch him. I guess. Uh, and that's a, that's a fun bit of business. I appreciate that joke. All right, so we got to put some eyes on here. So this is the one we're going to do star eyes, and we're going to do uh, silly mouth. And I'm using my tweezers for this instead of just my uh, sponger because they are so small. Um, and then just kind of trying to separate my, my tweezers from the tacky part and then just kind of use them to press down. And then you can kind of see that there. Uh, there's some stars, uh, starry eyes. Uh, five berry. Yeah, it's something very small and nonsensical. Um, also, this is the first time in a while I've built with bear uh, as I bought. Oh, as I bought the Bastion Lego kit. I haven't built Lego in a year or two. I'm looking forward to it. Lastbrook, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, I love, uh, you know me, I love building Lego. I was happy to build it. That Bastion kit is really fun. Uh, both of the One Piece kit, or not One Piece, uh, um, Overwatch kits we built were really fun. But um, also, I'm really excited to do this because, like, you know, I called an audible, right? Uh, today, I was planning originally and even promoted that I was going to start that Naruto kit. But when I got the fifth piece of this, I was like, nope, Naruto can wait. Um, because this is a kit that I really want to build. I want to build these kits because it's different. The idea of building a bunch of kits and then combining together, we've only done that once with our... Um, our uh, Vol uh, Voltron kit. So, I like the idea of doing that. Uh, let's get these, get this sticker pressed in. I'm buying too much Lego these days. Chopper, says Rich. Indeed, we are building two tiny choppers, and then we're going to build a vehicle for Chopper to ride in. But also, the vehicle we're starting with, when it combines with the other vehicles, is the head. It's the biggest of them. And so we're going to start by building a big, big old chopper face, uh, which should be very fun. I don't know why I whispered that part, but it's good. And also, you don't have to know One Piece to know this is a fun little reindeer friend. So um, you'll have fun with it. Okay, so then we got to do the head. We got to do the um, 8-2. We got to do the um, hat once again. Uh, there's a lot, there's, you know, quite a few stickers here, but like I said, they're, they're mix and matching. We could swap out faces. I think I've made the face choices that I'm excited about. Um, I think I picked the ones that are going to be fun. Yeah, I love stars for eyes, open mouth, chopper. I think that's a good combination for the the chopper that's going to be inside our mech. Also, like I said, it's mechs, so it fits with the channel, I think, very well. Uh, now I want a fun little reindeer friend. Uh, Nichio model kit. Yes, that is a fun idea. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, you know, chopper is, is going to, you know, we're building, we're going to build five mechs with, with a, you know, that then combine into a bigger mech. It fits with the theme of the channel very well, including the thing that I'm going to post tomorrow. Um, but Santini sent me a Lego set that is also a mech. It's a mech Lego set. I'm very excited to build that in the future. Mech chopper, robot chopper, roboper. I don't know. So this is uh, this line is the chopper robo super uh, is the line. So basically. Super, if you want to be Frankie about it. Super. Oh, I, sorry. Super. I got to be Frankie about it. Frankie style. All right. So we got our two chopper heads. Now let's build some chopper bodies. Oh, more stickers involved. C15 and C14. We'll find those there. I'm just building out of the box because there are, you know, there are only so many of these. So C15 is this one. Our, our bodies are small, obviously. Uh, super, indeed. Zorb is here. Hey, Zorb, it's been a little bit. Happy to have you here. Um, thanks for joining the chat. 
And Chopper and Stickers describe my afternoon yesterday. Choppers and Stickers. Yes, indeed. Uh, the helicopter style chopper. You made that uh, yesterday. Durman posted that in the Discord. Appreciated seeing that. Okay, so. This is this C15. We've got to put stickers on these. We're going to do these. Like I said, there's going to be quite a few stickers on all of this stuff. But we will endeavor to nail it. Okay. C1. That's 10. Like I said, I'm using my um, tweezers just to try to get you know, the detailed parts of this on as best I can. Um, Board Ming's here. Hello, Board. Happy to have you here. Welcome to the chat. A great crew today. I'm here for you, Pat, but really it's for Tony Tony Chopper. Board, I understand. Chopper is just a sweetheart. I'm very proud of him. All right, so... On like that. All right. That looks good. That's one sticker for that half, and then we got to put this other sticker on here. Go. Oh, this this chop standing chopper has a backpack. Hell yeah, he does. Oh, that's great. There's a lot of little tiny. There's a lot of love to this kit. Both these kits. Uh, when I'm done with all of it, uh, so um, Bandai has been kind of, uh, not particularly Bandai, but Bluefin, their, their subsidiary, has been, they actually hired a social media person. So that person's been pretty good about retweeting like builds that people have been doing. So I think when I'm done with this, since it is a Bluefin line, uh, I'm going to tweet out, or it's a Bandai at least, I'm going to tweet out, see if I can get retweeted. Uh, even if it's in the process of doing these, maybe. Why well, be called Tony Chopper when you can throw an extra Tony in there? In, in fact, Durman, that's totally right. Who needs to be Tony Chopper when you can be Tony Tony Chopper? All right, let me find this piece here. This is our rubber. CJ, two, three. What's this? And then I just started, Baba is you, and this seems like it get weird fast. Yes, I, I'm not super familiar with that, but yes. From what I am familiar about it, the answer is yes. Uh, all right. So we'll put this on here. There's the top part of our chopper. We need C1. Seven. Put the bottom part of our chopper there. And then four. Uh, Jacob says, hi, Pat. You're going to be at PAX East in Boston, right? Sorry if I missed you talking about it. Yes, Jacob. Uh, first off, hi. Welcome to the channel. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for chatting. I am indeed. Um, so I will be at PAX uh, East, I will be there. I'm arriving on Wednesday um, to set up because League of Heels will be there um, all weekend long. We will be in band land uh, with our table, um, which is uh, the new normal for us. Uh, we will have a panel for League of Heels on... Uh, wait, I need... Grabbing their A213. Um, so, yeah, so we will have a panel um, on Sunday at 10.30 a.m., um, which will also be live on twitch.tv slash um, uh, PAX, um, which I'll, you know, I'll have uh, hosting it here. I'll be hosting here. And then I have a panel Thursday um, called Improvised Postmortem at 9 p.m., which I will have also uh, hosting here. Uh, my hope is that Wednesday, um, uh, the 27th, my hope is that I will be able to stream from my Airbnb. I am bringing Lego sets specifically so I can stream. Um, 
If I am actually able to do that or not, I won't know until I get there because, you know, like, I can't tell you. I'll definitely be able to make it work. Depends on their Wi-Fi and if I can get a wired connection, um, if they're right there, there, if the room is actually not as enclosed as it usually, it you know, cause sometimes they're weird about that stuff. Um, okay, so we finished one Tony Chopper. We'll now put the head on. So that's our one Tony Chopper right there. And now we'll build the other body for our Tony Tony Chopper. So yeah, I'll redistribute the belt. Uh, Mr. Mouse is a top down puzzle game that is also a programming language. Oh, okay. I have... That sounds rad and nothing I will ever do. I don't want to do programming or hacking. The hacking in video games I want is... Um, the Bethesda Fallout level of hacking. That's what I want to do. Maybe, maybe uh, the Saints Row style of like puzzle solving, connect the dots kind of a thing. But I don't know. It's just not, it's never been a thing that I've been super into. Oops. Oh no. Um, but yeah, learning a programming language for a video game is not... Mr. Bob, I'm. I hope it. I'm happy that it's real good. It's just not a thing that I want to do. I want you to be happy and have a good time playing video games. That's what I want for you. But I don't want to do it. So you do it and enjoy it. And so this is going to be sitting in our uh, cockpit. That's the Tony Chopper that sits in our cockpit. And then we've got another, another Tony Chopper. That's going to be just hanging out. We can just have him hang out. Uh, so that right there is the tiny, tiny chopper. Rich? I mean, yes. This is indeed a tiny, tiny chopper. You're not wrong. I wish you were. But you are not wrong. All right. So let's put these here. Let's get some legs on this, friends. Put body here. What we got going on here? Jacob is now hosting the stream. Thank you so much, Jacob. Always appreciate it. Um, Durman says, hey, Pat, do you have a P.O. box or something for a mailbag? So I got one of those little promo Lego kits to send you. Uh, uh, and Rich says, uh, I'm a little annoyed about how pleased I am with that. Don't be annoyed. Sometimes you get a good one. So, Durman, I don't have a P.O. box. Um... What uh, what you can do is, if you'd like, you can um, uh, message me, like send me a whisper uh, or whatever the message is here through this, um, uh, through Twitch, and I can talk to you and give you an address to send me something. Um, uh, and I'll just leave it, you know, care of my landlord instead of my actual address. Uh, but we can do that. Uh, which I, you know, we appreciate. So yeah, just send me a message. Um, okay, so this is our friend here. This is our stand-up Tony Chopper. You do that, and then can stand up on this little stand. And I think they they connect together, I believe. But we'll put them like there so you can see him and his friendship. We got two choppers right there, and that's it for choppers. Now it's time to build uh, other stuff. Now that we built some choppers, we got to build. Um, well, we we got to build a fortress for that, the guard fortress, which is the which is loosely based on guard point. Um, uh, would Discord work for you? Yeah, you can send me a message on on Discord as well, um, or whisper through here through through Twitch. Um, Lashbrook says, speaking of indie games, I was just playing uh, hype uh, uh, Hypno Space Outlaw, and that game is real good. I highly recommend it for anyone. Who was online in the 90s. Okay. Thank you very much. Pardon me. Sorry about that. Uh, also, reminder. Uh, if you if you are using your Twitch coin to subscribe to the channel, you have to renew that manually. Um, so, feel free to do that. Uh... 
Yeah, I haven't seen anything about Hypnospace Outlaw, but um, the name sounds incredible. Okay, so we've got some stickers to build here to put on. We'll assemble this together and then put the stickers on. But we'll start with this. I don't necessarily love the layout of how this, like, you can kind of see from the overhead uh, if I put it there, but it's like, really, I need to start here to build this and build these two parts off, which are described there, and then over here, add this thing in. And I feel like I am definitely going to uh, miss a step while I'm conversing with y'all. I will do my best to not do that, but I can feel it. Um, so, yeah, I was out of One Piece. Uh, I kind of, like, I hadn't watched it in a long time, and then I saw a YouTube video... Um, from the end of Dress Rosa, uh, and I was like, because they had come back to do episodes, and I was like, oh, well, that looks fucking cool. God damn it, I think I'm back in. And then I was, I was back in, because it was cool. Zoro putting hockey on his swords was like, yep, into it, into it. That was enough to get me going. Uh, I saw it at Pack South. Their booth was a mechanical keyboard and an old mouse hooked up to like a 40-inch CRT. I didn't even play it. I was just wa uh, watching it enough to know I was sold. Lashbrook, that sounds fucking cool. I like that shit. Uh, I like people that try to theme their booths that don't just be like, well, we have the space, so we brought in whatever. Like um, when... Uh, Sean Baptiste was was working for a company. Uh, their game, the game that was Cat Lateral Damage, they like did a living room set. Whatever whoever, whoever made that game, I can't remember. But he uh, they they did their best to kind of like uh, set the stage and like you know give you the vibe, which I thought was a cool idea. All right, so five and five are these. That. Uh, if I want to ask about a moment during. Uh, Des Rosa, do you have to word spoilers? Um, I mean, I think, you know, uh, Lashbrook is in the phase of, like, way ago. So, I mean, I can try not to give spoilers. Uh, I can probably try to answer without, without going too far. Because, uh, because Lashbrook is way back in Skypedia. And so it does have, you know, is kind of early-ish in the show. So, I, I try to avoid spoilers, especially, you know, especially for things that are like, you know, obviously we're in the arc past it, so I would never talk about anything in uh, Whole Cake Island um, because that's just current. Uh, previous stuff, sometimes, I, you know, I don't know. Play it by ear. So, Rich, I don't have a great answer for you, and I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm going to try not to do spoilers for things. I guess is what I'm saying. Because, you know, I talk about anime on this show, uh, you know, uh, stuff that's here, and I try to, like, showcase, like, moments without saying, like, oh, this is going to be cool. Or, like, hey, this episode ends in a... in just, like, a way. Be ready for it. That kind of stuff. Fair enough. Yeah. So, you know, moments or characters, you know, I I'm fine with talking about, but sometimes... I'm not great about talking about, like, uh, big old spoilers. All right, so this is going to go like this. I'm just going to go like that. All right. This is uh, part of the head here. All right, so that goes like that. And then wants us to check it. So yeah, so this head is going to transform a little bit because it's going to go from being the fortress to the big old head. Uh, there's a moment with Toy Soldier and Des Rosa that I absolutely love. That's all I'll say. Yes, Toy Soldier. Um, there's there's a lot of moments in that arc, and and Toy Soldier is particularly got some heavy. Really beautiful moments. Uh, okay. 
Look at this big old dome. A big old dome. Uh, Crunchy added Genlock this week, and I'm watching. The, I watched the first episode. Oh man, it looks like something I'm really gonna like. The mix of Beck style is cool. Yes, bored. Uh, I'm gonna talk about that after the uh, break when I when I get my anime talk because I am counting it because I because even though I have Verve, it was it being added to Crunchyroll that finally got me to watch some Genlock because I just don't end up on the Verve we, or VRV website that often. So I did finally go and check it out. So I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit. Not in great detail, but in some detail in the uh, in the anime, this week in anime section. Also, because Saturday is always the day I have the least amount to talk about. Because not all my stuff comes out either on Monday or uh, like Tuesday or Wednesday in this season anyway. But yeah, I was excited they added it because it was, you know, like I said, it's on Verve because Rooster Teeth is on Verve. So. All right. That took a little second to connect, but basically this thing opens up. That's all. And, and something else happens when it does. Uh, so we can put that aside for a second. Our dome there. And then we'll need a one and a two here. So as you can see, we are building a big old chopper face. Excited about that. Uh, speaking of anime, I'm so um, super behind on that anime. Oh, the uh, Durman says Osmosis Jones. Uh, yes, um, I know what you're talking about. Uh, what? Oh, uh, uh, cells. The cell. What the? Why can't I remember the name of that show? It has cells in the, t in the title of it. It was really good. Uh, cells at Work. There it is. That's the name of it. Cells at Work is what I was thinking of. I don't know why I couldn't remember the name of it. But yes, Cells at Work is fantastic. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Or you're behind on it. No, it's Cell Saga. No. No, Rich. Not Cell Saga. This is Cells at Work. This is the... Um, very cell shaded human body. It is, in a way, Osmosis Jones. I'm not saying it's not that, but it it, it does. It is really good. All right, so we need two more of these. But yeah, that show rules. That was a really good show. Even the extra episode is good. The post season episode. It's not, like, incredible, but it's good. All right. Other giant chopper piece here. Uh, glad it's not me who can't remember the title. Yeah, no, I mean, Cells at Work is not a great name. That just escaped my brain. I knew it was Cells. I just couldn't remember what it was called. I mean, obviously, that's that's the romanced version of it. All right, so we got to put these in. So, wide is out. Wide is out. But yeah. Yeah, Saturday's always kind of a, a rough night for me as far as, like, talking about shows because I'm generally caught up, which is why I was happy to finally start. Um finally watching Gen Like I mean I'm only a couple episodes in. Um I'm once again behind on uh on Fairy Tale. I'm gonna let a bunch of episodes come in and then binge it again. I don't like getting caught up with that show because I just never was when it first came out. Alright, so we gotta snap this in place. This fits in like this. Look at that. And then can take oh yeah we got to do the face next so we'll do that we got some stickers to go on this face uh a12 so yeah now we're building a big old chopper uh garlic juniors at work 
Oh, sell juniors at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, garlic junior. All right, that goes there. We'll need some A2 pieces as well. A2. 14. Chopper's nose. A2. 8. Chopper's mouth. All right. Cybermen at work. Uh, Y'all are on a roll tonight. All right. Put this on in there. Get that mouth in there. Get that nose going. This cute old nose. We got some stickers to put on this. Got to put some eyebrows on. And then we got to put some, some black eyes. This comes together really nice. Um, this feels so much nicer than putting together that Optimus. Um, I took Starscream off of my wish list because I don't want to fucking build Starscream. That was not a pleasurable kit. I don't care if it looks cool. It does look cool when it was done. But I had no fun building that Optimus Prime, which is a shame because I love Optimus Prime. Oh, that reminds me. I owe Vinny a message about that because I want to make sure because I know he doesn't watch the uh, streams, but I want to let them know that was not a fun model kit to build. He kind of keeps up, and every once in a while we talk about model kits, but he's more of a, I'm just buying these, like, I'm buying these masterpiece action figures to look at them, whereas I'm obviously buying kits to build them. Uh, I missed those streams said here. Yeah, Mr. Bob, um, you know, conversation's always good because y'all are great, but uh, that Optimus Prime is not fun to build. The stickers are terrible to remove and terrible to put on. The kit is small with tiny pieces that don't fit great together. Uh, it is it was overall an unenjoyable experience. Uh, I just built a Lego ball joint, and that is weird. Yes, I've done that a couple times. Uh, Chopper's face with no eyes is fairly terrifying. Yeah, that's not great. A mouth and a nose, but no eyes. It's not great. We'll make that better by adding eyes. Yeah, we did it. Yay. Now let's add Chopper's face to his big old hat. Did that, did that. And we can add um, per IMDb. Dakota Fanning is currently doing the voice of Miranda Worth on the animated series Genlock Rooster Teeth, an excellent show. Yes. Hello, Asmo. Welcome. Um, I love Chopper and his big old hat. Indeed. Yeah, I've heard, uh, oops, wrong conversation, says Board. <laughs> we were we were talking about Genlock, but, geez, Board. <laughs> yeah, no, it seems to. Um, uh, I, um, I haven't gotten far enough to get the episode uh, with the character that Sung Won, uh, Pro ZD, portrays. But I'm excited about that, because Pro ZD is a great voice actor. And that's cool. He is in it. All right, so we'll put that there. We'll put that there. And we gotta take this. Oops. Did that wrong. So now, now we gotta take the face. And we're gonna put it on the back end here. Oops, gotta clip off this extra here. Nope, oh, came off. All right. So now we'll attach it, attach it. It's, this is such a big head. There we go. And then other things will happen eventually, but right now, 
Right now we got a big old head. Ha <laughs> ha! Big old chopper head. Um, do do do. All right, so we need D's and D's and a couple stickers. So we'll pull that out. Get a fitting Star Trek movie was pretty good. Have not seen that. I am behind on the modern Star Treks. All right, now we're putting on some accessories so we can put the sides and brim of Tony's hat on. And then we got to build Tony Tony Chopper's uh, antlers for this big mode. Done with that sheet. And then this is eight. And seven. Yeah, so this is coming together pretty good. I don't know, like, how long it will be to, to do all of these uh, kits. Like, obviously, I don't think we're going to do five today. But, I mean, it, I don't know. It could be, you know, sometime on Monday we could finish all of it. I, I generally have no idea. All right, so we put that there. We do the same on this side. Yeah, I mean, we'll get through two of them tonight, certainly. Uh, I would enjoy some sort of a Transforming Frankie kit. Rich, I, I agree with you. I think that could be fun. Uh, I'd look it up. Seems like Dakota Fanning's Star Trek movie is something she made about someone trying to submit a Star Trek script. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Star Wars is good. So here's the thing. Like, there are generations, there are many generations that have Star Wars, and they have them together, and they saw them as kids, and they saw them growing up, and they grew up with it, and it, it means a lot to them. And there are a lot of generations that have different Star Treks, and they have different feelings about those different Star Treks, because they were on, you know, there were different eras were on when they were kids. So, like, it, it, it depends on when you were growing up, what Star Trek you got. If it will, if it, you know, and then I think that kind of means a lot to how you feel about Star Trek. You know, if you're TNG, like I was, or TNG meant the world to me. And then I liked Deep Space Nine because it came on when I was older and interested in, in a show like that. And then like, didn't like Voyager at all. And then never watched Enterprise and have not watched Discovery. Because I got two very good Star Treks. My Star Treks were, were The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine. And they were both very fucking good. And I didn't need the... I When it wasn't good to me, I didn't mind it because I was had gotten some very good Star Treks. Um... High school band director has story credits on three Star Trek episodes. That's awesome. Asmo. Grew up with TNG re reruns and Star Wars remasters on VHS. Understand? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm not here to tell people one is better. Than the I'm. I love fuck. I fucking love Star Wars and I love Star Trek. There's. The thing is, there are like two and a half bad Star Wars movies. And a couple okay Star Wars movies. There are many bad Star Trek movies. And lots of, of oh, just okay Star Trek TV episodes. But some incredible moments. And so like I'm here for both. And I'm fine with both. And like you know. Sure. And I'm saying that having the, the fact that there are two Star Trek series I've never seen. I've never seen an episode of Enterprise. I've never seen an episode of Discovery, which is weird, but, like, I'm still a Star Trek fan. I just haven't watched them. I only watched the first of the uh, new Star Trek movies. Like, but I'm still a Star Trek fan. It's just there's a lot of Star Trek that doesn't feel like it's necessarily what I want to watch. All right. Chopper's hat brim is done. It's time to build the 
uh, what will be the guns for the Tony Tony Chopper part. The antlers, which are also weapons. So we got to build those. Let's build those. There is so much Trek. Indeed. Uh, Star Wars Episode 4 to 6 are simple stories. Good versus evil. Clean characters and great action. Yeah. One through three is is, is are, are tougher. I don't I don't disagree with you, board. Uh, Durs is a coworker. My mother uh, has a dad in a few episodes of the original series. That's awesome. And you're right. There is so much Trek. Like there's so much Trek that like the movies that aren't great. Like okay, sure. I don't whatever. It's like okay, there'll be more. Whereas like now there's a lot of Star Wars, but for a long time there were three Star Wars things, a couple of Ewok movies, and then the Halloween, or the, the Christmas special, which was considered, like, not part of it, and then the books, the video games. And then suddenly there were three more movies. And then, like, yeah, some people didn't like them, and some people did like them, and then there are a lot more. There's the animated Clone Wars movie, there's the Clone Wars TV show, there's more and more Star Wars, but, like, there still is more Star Trek than anything else yes uh rich scott bacula was the captain of enterprise which was a which was canonically before the original series it took place in the timeline it was like the first ship um, just on the side Star Wars Holiday Special is certainly a thing. It's it's a lot. I mean, obviously, yes. Yes. Animated Boba Fett. So it's great. But also, it's not great. It's rough. I was just uh, remember seeing something about Scott Bakula being in something Star Trek, but didn't make sense to me. I understand. Yeah. I mean, if you didn't watch Enterprise, you, you wouldn't, you, that wouldn't make sense to you. Yeah, Mr. Bob, I've heard the last season is interesting and kind of was like they were finding their groove, but uh, it just never appealed to me. I, I think I was, there were parts of me that did enjoy Voyager, but I wasn't super into it. And so I wasn't like, it was the first Star Trek show that I was like, I would miss an episode and not really care. And that felt very weird to me at the time. Uh because I was so into uh, Next Generation and Deep Space Nine that to have a Star Trek series that I was like, meh, about felt very weird to me. Okay, so. Uh, so guard points. We're going to build the, uh, the wheels for guard points. So this is... So this is Tony Chopper as just Tony Chopper, the head. Well, I'll put this there. Uh, so you can see Tony while I build the wheel base for our kit here, which is almost all of the pieces that are left to build, except for this cool thing. Um, even Captain Archer plotting to steal the original Empress. Yes. Uh, Rich says, I mainly just knew Scott Bakula from watching too many episodes of Quantum Leap on G4 when it was close to going away. Anytime I hear Scott Bakula, says Asmo. I just hear him doing a bad accent on uh, uh, NCIS Gumbo and get sad. I luckily have not seen that. So, uh, oh, it had that uh, the yeah the the um, alternate dimension that you see in the original series and Deep Space Nine. Yeah. Oh, those episodes are always so weird, so strange. All right, so now we're going to put some wheels on. we got to put some X's on our wheels. Or These aren't X's, so the odd thing is that, like, all of the X's you see on Tony Chopper, on Chopper's head and all that, like, that's just to get around, like, the fact that you can't really, in media, have the red cross because it's not supposed to be diluted. The idea of the red cross is if you see a red cross – you know you you can get help and assistance, so you can't just like have that in media. So, 
I th I don't know if that's why Tony Chopper has the X instead of the cross, but he does, and that is that is part of his motif. Which I which I appreciate. Uh Yeah. I, like I said, I didn't watch Enterprise, so I kind of just know it through osmosis. Dr. Jones just here, 25. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Very much appreciated. Cheers and bits are always appreciated. I got a payout this week from from uh, Twitch, which was the big payout I got um, uh, from the January, everyone being rad in January. So I really appreciate that and people's continued support. Thank you very much. All right, so now we got to put this X on here. See, it's a, it's an X and a cross. I'm just gonna put that around there. Uh, they want to say they explained that one of the Q and A pages of the manga, but don't remember the reason for the X. Yeah, I mean, in my mind, it's just that. It's meant to be like a cross, but they can't put a cross. They can't do the, or they don't want to do the red cross on there because they wouldn't be able to replicate it in media outside. They could probably do it in the anime, but definitely couldn't do it on merch. So that's my guess. All right. So we just got to put these stickers on wheels. These are the last stickers. We will, I'm going to keep the other faces um, because maybe we wouldn't, wouldn't want the other faces, but. As options. All right, and I'm just trying to take these little. There's little extra specs here. I'm just trying to take those out because I don't want those. Uh, isn't it from the Pact of Alabaster? I don't remember if that's what it was. I thought Tony had the X on his hat in his hat when we were introduced to him. Like he always had that. I thought I could be wrong. There's a lot of One Piece, and I'll admit, I mean, it's been on forever, and will be on forever. So I'll admit that I don't remember every little moment of the show. But I thought that was part of his motif. I'll admit, though, as I said, I don't remember every moment of it. Uh, looks like he did have an X on his old hat. Yeah. All right. Got two more of these to build. We'll put this over here for a second. We've got to build this, and then we got to put the that and the eye patch on there. So this, this is a targeting reticule. Uh, you can maybe see that there. But it also looks like a monocle. I said eye patch, but what I meant to say was monocle. It does look like Tony has a monocle, which is a good look. Tony, Tony, chop. All right, get those pieces up there. All right, we'll get this on here. I'm not perfect with these. I've been perfect doing closer to better on the other ones, but uh, these wheels I'm not too concerned about. Because these wheels come off anyway so that you can build the head or build the body to combine together. Okay, so this goes like Katoni. Head comes like this. This goes down. And then this goes like this. And then our seated chopper. Oops. Form feet and legs. I'll form the head. Indeed. Uh, all right, so we'll try doing the chopper first here. 
there's a little tiny spot for them. And then it goes there. Great. And then these go like this. So this is the guard point kit, which is, yeah, there's the guard point. Looks fucking cool as hell. Yep, that's the guard point. And we can bring this up if we want to do that. Yeah. So from from this side, it just looks like some sort of big weapon on wheels. And then at the top, you can see, oh, that's also a big head. A big robot head. Uh, looks like we got some extra pieces here. These extra pieces could be from combining. Uh, so one thing you can do is they, uh, they do show off ways of like, when we build the other ones, you can mix and match pieces to kind of like mix and match between the two. So if I didn't have all five, I could have some fun putting together variations of them. Uh, but I don't need to do that because I do have all of these. We've got some extras here, but I do have all the pieces. So, but yeah, we'll keep the stickers in case you want to change your Tony Tony chopper. And I do think that these will allow us to connect them uh, multiple of the just hanging out choppers. Uh, but yeah, this is the first one. I'm going to take a drink of water and then do my ad break. And then we'll uh, we'll get going on part two. But part one is done. Oh, it's fucking rules. Oh, it's so cute. All right. Put that there for now. One is done. This is number... Two, heavy armor. This is uh, developed on the heavy point. So it's the big fighting one. Well, I mean, they're all fighting, but this is the, 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 like, the punching one. All right. Uh, so this is the second one we'll build. But first, hello. Welcome to the Build Bear Workshop. If you're just joining us, uh, my name is Pat Bear. So uh, I'm going to take a drink of water. First and foremost, uh, oh, I know nothing of One Piece. I just read a description of Chopper that says he's a sentient deer that also a skilled surgeon. Yes. So he is. He is a reindeer that ate a fruit called the human human fruit. The whole, uh, one of the concepts of is devil fruits. You eat these fruits, they give you powers. Uh, Chopper ate a fruit that can mean that he can be kind of human. And he learned to become a doctor. So he's a reindeer that can talk and communicate with animals and also humans uh and chopper rules chopper is the, the the boat doctor and also just cool anyway hello we'll get building on part two here after i talk to you briefly first and foremost thanks for watching if you are just follow me on twitter uh and get to here or you searched for chopper one piece or you're looking in the makers and crafts section um you should uh, consider becoming a subscriber. At the very least, give me a follow. Turn your notifications on so you know when I'm streaming. But if you could become a, a subscriber, that would be rad. Um, if you use your Twitch Prime coin, uh, you you can link your Amazon Prime with your Twitch. And you could do that. You have to manually renew that. If you do the $5, it's just like doing anything. Um, it just takes money out of your account. Uh, you can have access to the Bear Cave emote. Fairly soon, I will have a new emote for, um, uh, I will have a, a new, um, a tier two, and then everyone else will get access to not just the Bear Cave emote, but also the Lego Bear emote. That's coming. Uh, I also have a Patreon. Uh, you can join my Patreon if you don't want to support me through here through Twitch. Feel free to jump on my Patreon. Uh, Ultron says, hi, I'm sorry I'm late. No problem, Ultron. Uh, we're just taking our break here. I'll show off what we did in part one of, uh, the stream. Uh, um, but we'll keep going here. Yes, uh, Lashbrook, there are many, many forms of this, uh, of Tony Chopper. Different points, which is what these are loosely based on. Um, inspired by. Consider joining my Patreon. I'm trying to get $200 a month. That would be rad. Uh, you can also look at my Amazon wish list. I just got something from Santini that I'm going to be building after I finish all of these uh, Lego set. I'm going to go look at it and kind of give a shout out. I put some Lego sets up there that look pretty cool. There's a, uh, a jet that I'd love to build. Um, some Star Wars stuff. We haven't done Star Wars Lego in a while. I wouldn't mind doing that again. Uh, 
just a few model kits that would be fun to build. I'm going to buy a couple things soon uh, with money that came out of my Patreon. Because any money I make for my Patreon uh, from uh, Twitch, from my coffee, which is one time donations, any money that I make from that goes into buying equipment uh, or kits. So uh, on Monday, I'm going to buy a couple kits using money that has come from uh, my Twitch payout, which I got pretty recently. Uh, and then, um, let's see. Oh, I have the Build Will Bear community. Join my Discord. Uh, people share stuff they're working on. The build photos section is rad. You see, like, Durman's Lego sets. And you see, like, uh, many folks' model kits that they're building. Uh, which is just rad as hell. Um, always happy to see that on my, on my Discord. So join the Discord. And, uh, here are two videos you can look at. One is called, um... Let Pat Play on Commonwealth, which is a mini-series where I'm looking at mods and cheats in Fallout 4. Uh, I posted the second episode on Monday. Next Monday is episode 3. Episode 3 is pretty cool. Uh, if you're a fan of Gunpla, you should watch episode 3, which comes out on Monday. Uh, it's a very good episode. And then also on Wednesday, I posted Backgrounded Characters. It is a improvised character... Uh, show that I do where I grab an image off the internet, throw it on my green screen, and improvise a character based on that image. They're very short and fun, those. Uh, but I'm proud of it, so I think I think it's worth checking out. Uh, Ultron, we built Tony Chopper. We built uh, the Guard Point uh, inspired one, which is this here. You can see that there, and then it also is the head because we're going to build five of these and then combine them all to make. And you can see that on the left and right here. Uh, the five sets that all combine to make a giant chopper. So this is the kind of vehicle mode. And then eventually it will all combine together and make a cool friend. A big old Tony Chopper. Like that. The cute reindeer. Indeed, Ultron. Um, oh, I, and I, I mention it now and again. I forget often. Bits and coins are always appreciated. Um, they're very helpful in keeping uh, this channel alive and going. So if you can do that, I would appreciate it. If you can't, I understand. We did have two pieces pop off of uh, one of our trees here. Um, one of the sheets, but should be fine. Plenty of X's on this one as well. Um, this, cho this chopper is wearing a cool helmet, which I, I like. Um, and this is the heavy armor, which is based on the heavy point. Maybe this is a complicated topic. Why are there giant robots in a show about pirates? Well, Mr. Bob, um, so it's a show about pirates, but how people are pirates, it's also a show for any sort of fantasy idea that the mangaka can envision. So you have cyborgs. You have samurai. There are several samurai. You have ninjas. You've got... Uh, vampires, you've got ghouls, you've got zombies, you've got uh, cool chefs, all kinds of stuff. Um, but basically, their um, their steward, their ship uh, maker, the guy who's in charge of their stuff, is obsessed with building robots. He's a cyborg. Uh, there are jet bikes. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Um, and so, uh, okay, so this is going to be the when this is this part is going to be like kind of the body and the arms um, of the the chopper, uh, but yeah. So first thing first, we have to build uh, two choppers like we did with the last one. But yeah, the idea is that like it's a free for all of everything in the world of pirates. There's all kinds of stuff. It does have everything. Um, ooh, got Gur chopper. So we got a bunch of chopper faces here. We have less faces than we had in the last one. We have two mouths. Um, oh, Ron, uh, R-O-H, and Cena is uh, now following. Thank you very much for that. I saw what said Ron, but uh, R-O-H and Cena uh, is here. Hello. Thank you for the fall. They get a ship maker. Yes. Yes, Lashbrook. I, I'm trying not to, to spoil stuff for you, but yes, there is... Um, there is a there is a, a ship maker, uh, uh, a ship right. I think that's what they call. Super awesome stream. I like how I put it together. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. 
uh, Cena. Um, yeah, two webcams, a little bit of little bit of trial and error, a green screen. I don't know how to use as well as I would like. Um, but yeah, all right. So just like the first set we did, uh, the first chopper we did, we're now working on our second Tony Tony choppers. So we have to build two Tony Tonys, one that sits in our vehicle, one that can just hang out. Um, so we will start assembly of that. Uh, that is also our probably our biggest um, kit. So these other ones are going to move pretty fast. Uh, but yeah, they should be fun to build. Um, pretty simple design. Uh, all right, so we gotta do angle one. But yeah, I'm excited to put these together. Chopper is a fun little thing. Uh, the one I'm excited the most about, I think, is uh, I like uh, Horn Point, uh, the Horn Dozer. I think Horn Point is just great because it's just like, what if I was a big reindeer? <laughs> is basically the premise of that, which I I appreciate. That there, and then we'll just do this. But yeah, this is a, a bit of an easier, smaller kit here. And all right, thirty-three and twenty-three. Okay. Appreciate it, but if I get spoiled, I get spoiled. I understand. I already know a little bit about the time skip because of jump force. Yes, that would probably tell you some things, but. I mean, really, it's just that, yeah, uh, there's a set crew for a very long time, and then slowly over time, they add a couple more people, but um, it is pretty set in stone for, for much of this, uh, huge chunks of the series, and then they do, like, mix it up now and again by adding a new person here and there. But once they add Frankie, it's a long time before anything else happens that's dramatic as far as people that are actual Straw Hat Pirates. That's what I'll say. Uh, there's so much to One Piece that, like, I forget so much of what happened. Every once in a while there was, like, characters that show up and I'm like, alright, they're reacting like this is an old character that's back. Shit. Now I got to remember who that is. Do I remember? Nope. I don't. Okay. Because there's just so much that show that every once in a while they, it, yeah, they're like, oh wait, this character was important at one point. Um, okay. So speaking of anime, uh, I'll talk about some of the stuff that uh, I've been watching uh, since our last episode, our last, uh, uh, stream, um, really simple and really easy. I'll just say the quintessential quintuplets. We had the second part of a two part thing. Um, I like the show the most when he is one-on-one -on -one with the quintuplets and not in a group setting. This has been a lot of group setting stuff. There's been moments with him with various characters, but I prefer it one-on-one -on -one rather than, uh, the kind of the the uh, group setting dynamic I, I don't find as fun. Um, that show is fine. I'm kind of watching it now just to see what happens. Uh, but that's quintessential quintuplets. Endro, very fucking cute, very fun. Uh, episode nine, I think I liked better than episode ten. Uh, introduce introduction of a new character. It was silly and fun. That show is is just you know, enjoyable. It's just, it's breezy. I love the idea of a very laid back, uh, slice of life about adventuring, you know, like there's something cute and fun about it. They're all fun characters. Um, like I said, it's very light, but I really do enjoy it. So, and then, uh, we talked about it. It's not really anime. It's animation. But now on Crunchyroll, you can watch Genlock from Rooster Teeth, which, as I said, I didn't watch it on Verve because I just never got around to it. Sometimes I forget I have other stuff. I don't ever go to Verve, I should say. So sometimes I forget that I can go to that website and look up stuff. Um, 
And then I, uh, so the fact that it's on Crunchyroll made me go, oh, all right, let me watch this. It's good. Uh, it took a second for me to get used to the people animation. Um, because I'm not super in, I'm not super up on all of Rooster Teeth's animation stuff. Like, I've never seen Ruby. I've never seen a single episode of Ruby. So I wasn't super familiar with their, uh, their style of animation. Uh... And it took a second to get used to. But I think the human stories are really good. I'm interested in uh, the the interactions and the stories they're trying to tell. I think the mechs look cool. Um, I, I'm only three episodes in, but I'm into it. I think I'm going to keep up with it. I'm going to try to catch up so that I can watch it when it, as episodes come out. But yeah, Genlock seems pretty cool. And I'm happy it's on Crunchyroll because it means that it's in my queue. And so I will look at it and notice it instead of what often happens with stuff that's like on YouTube that I'm not following actively where I just like forget it's there. All right. So we got to put a mouth in here. So we have three sets of eyes. I don't like the closed eyes, so I'm not going to use that. So I got to decide if I'm going to go with determined or pissed off. I think I'm going to go with determined. So put that there. Humanoid. I like the mix of Battletech and Humanoid mix. Yes. Uh, I think the the mix of mechs is interesting. I'm not sure. Like I said. Uh, I, it's going to take a while for me to get used to the art style and I haven't quite decided if I'm like fine with it or annoyed with it but you know it's growing on me alright so one head is done Let's see if we can show that there yeah there's chopper ten size alright so basically we're going to do what we just did there but we're going to do it with the other head uh Similar, pretty much, very similar to what we just did. Um, but yeah, I think that's all the anime. You know, obviously I've got my shows. Uh, excited for Monday for the next Mob Psycho. Excited for Monday for the bonus episode which I'm considering it's a bonus. It's the last episode of um, that time I got reincarnated as a slime, but I'm kind of considering that to be like a bonus episode because the show wrapped up. I mean, they did two musical montages. The show is pretty over, pretty much over. This is like the bonus episode. So it might be lore. I don't know quite what it's going to be, um, but it's, you know, like I said, my big thing with uh, that time I got reincarnated as Slime is I think it's a very good show that maybe, possibly, shouldn't have been a double season. Because a lot of these last episodes did not feel necessary or like any Like it felt like a side story or a second season. Uh, it felt like the beginning of a second season, not the end of the of a double season. So I was uh, kind of bummed about that. Because overall, I mean, it's my favorite anime of the year so far by a country mile. So I'll be interested to see if, you know, what comes of it. I might be interested in reading the manga because I know some shit goes down. I don't know. Uh, main, it really felt really rushed at parts, but I like it a lot. I think there's more. Yes, yes, no. The uh, so in, in next week's episode or Monday's episode, which is episode twenty-four, is like a side story or a bonus story or maybe information on a character that showed up at the end of this episode this last episode uh or it might be about uh uh the guy who's in charge of the uh the city that we were in but no it, it felt like they were like 
So the thing about um, that time I got reincarnated as slime is it's like, there's some demon lord stuff. Oh, there's going to be a big thing. Oh, there's going to be a big thing. Oh, there's a big thing. Oh, we dealt with that. We dealt with that. We dealt with that. And then it was like, what if I went and became a teacher for these kids to help some unfinished business? And so it was like the slime that is like in charge of this city and this nation just takes a break from doing that for a while to go like help out some kids over the course of like a couple episodes, which felt like it should have been like a lot of episodes. It's just, it's just strange. It's just a strange choice. Uh, and the fact that, like I said, it's 24 episodes and 23 episodes, it wraps up. It just felt weird. Like they rushed through. And like I said, I think it would have been better if they did like 18 episodes or something and ended and didn't do the second part. But whatever. I don't make those calls. I don't make those decisions. Oh, wait. Is that the anime good? Uh, came on a rewatching Shield Hero to fill the good world trope. Oh. Um, AF. That time I got reincarnated into slime is fantastic. Uh, so uh, we talked about this before, but... Um, it is, it is a, it is the least harem isekai I've ever seen. It's the best isekai in a really long time. There are female characters. Only two of them are actively, uh, like, trying to mate with our main character. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a girl that later is like, I love you. But yeah, no, that time I got reincarnated as slime is incredible. Uh, because Rimuru is older, he's an older guy in his in his real life before he becomes a slime he's got this kind of like oh i just want to be nice and i want to help people and it, the minor characters are all incredible and great and it's yes he's overpowered he's completely uh it uh and yeah i mean is there are there episodes where you're like oh god damn it yes they go to the dwarf kingdom there's a place they go and that, that's basically a host club that's full of elves. And they all, every female character wants to hold Rimuru, the slime, and think he's cute. And it's, it's not great, but, like, it's not, that's not the point of the show, is him collecting all these female characters. Uh, which is nice to have in a show. Uh, and annoying to have to say that when I talk about that, but you know, that's part of, uh, the, the whole idea of Isekai, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, no, uh, uh, AF, I wholeheartedly recommend that time I got reincarnated as a slime. I think it is a fantastic show. It is so fun. Um, and my gripes with it, like the gripes, the biggest gripe I have is the fact that it's a 24 episode series and Monday's going to be the 24th episode. And I think it shouldn't have been 24 episodes. It should have been like 18 or 16 or something. Uh, that's my biggest thing is that it, it overstays its welcome a little bit, but it's still really fun and cool. And uh, yeah, overall. I'm uh, I'm a huge supporter of that show. I think it's just like really fun. All right, so now we're gonna build. We've got the rubber pieces for our friend. Now we're gonna build the body. Just like this. Um, we gotta build some bodies here because we did some heads. Now we're gonna build bodies. But yeah. Um, and of course, Mob Psycho season two has been incredible this season. Uh, even the like this, the quieter episodes were still leading somewhere, and now things are getting kind of hectic and kind of interesting. Uh, but there was a there was a thing that fans have been like, folks that had read the manga knew it was coming, but people that like focus on the anime have been wondering about this like interaction that Dimple had. Uh, people have been like wondering if, if it would ever happen for a really long time. So it was fucking cool in this last episode. 
uh, that it finally happened. Uh, but yeah, overall, so good shows. Time for bodybuilding, indeed. Bodybuilders Club. Pat, can you pull some strings and just get Japan to release Log Horizon Season 3? I mean, F, if I could, I would. I think that show gets a bad rap. Um, but it is... I just love the idea that... So, for folks that haven't seen it... Um, uh, haven't seen Log Horizon. It is a... People were playing a video game. They woke up. They're inside their avatars it's their world uh and that's a lot to deal with so it's it's in a way it's sort out online or dot hack that got that genre of, of it right but in this one like when you die you you you're fine you lose some memories but you're basically fine so it death kind of becomes meaningless and also life is kind of meaningless and one of the most interesting things about it is for a lot of characters, uh, it's that an economy happens. Somebody figures out how to make hamburgers that are good and taste good. And suddenly taste is a thing. And so an economy builds around like supply and demand. But really what it does is it takes all these like capitalist consumers, like kind of wakes them up and kind of gives them a purpose. And it's, Really interesting. Um, there's a lot that plays into it. Um, and I've caught myself being like, oh, this is to play up. Like, oh, cool, they're doing this thing. They're playing with tropes. But um, it's really interesting. It's like a really interesting show. Uh, it do I mean, in a way, it gives them purpose. But really, that's what the, the thing is. That like, without any, you know, like need the people like get bored uh it's interesting bored you uh, speaking of bored bored you said you you caught up season two episode seven of mob yes um no spoilers but bored when you get to the the race when you get to the race episode just know that things are going to get real okay things are going to get real in that episode and you just have to be okay with the fact that things are about to get real. Um, no spoilers. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, uh, you know, the episode before, you're like, oh, all right, well, that was weird, but kind of cool. And we got an idea of uh, some character. Because the shows, the episodes are so much about growth. They're like, oh, okay, we're going to get a sense of what's going on here. Oh, that was kind of interesting. But yeah, that episode. Uh, yeah. I dropped Mob's manga just before the marathon. I'm glad I didn't. It, I'm glad. Yes. No, I mean, the end of that episode, I didn't spoil it for a friend, but I did prepare it because I do have a friend who, who is like, who's getting caught up with the show and I knew would like be freaked out. She ended up waiting so that she could watch. Because I was like, okay, it just ends. And it's like, oh, holy shit. Uh, and then I was like, so now when I watch Bob Psycho season two, I'm watching it Monday nights. Like, because I watched it and like as it like debuted during the day. And it fucked me up so bad. It fucked me up for the whole day, that episode, that I was like, okay, I can't do that to myself. I now have to wait until the evening so that it doesn't mess with my day. I can tell it's starting to get serious. Yeah, it is. It's definitely getting, it's definitely ramping up. Oh, folks, we're almost in April. Uh, oh, the, the body improvement club boys are great. They rule. Um, it is almost April, which means that we are getting close to one punch man season two. I am excited about that. That's going to be cool. 
let's get it it's on its way. All right, so we need a 14, a 14. Pat, just want to drop in and say hello. Hope you're having a great day. Washable Markers, happy to have you here. It's been a little while. Thanks for dropping in and saying hi. We're working on some Tony Tony Chopper kits. Uh, we built some many. This is the we built three and four uh, Tonys today. Uh, yeah, we built four so far, and now we're building uh, a little vehicle for Tony to ride in that parts of will combine to make a giant Tony Tony Chopper. It's a fun. It's been a fun one. But yeah, Washburn Markers, happy to have you here. It's been a little while. Uh, but yeah, this has been a good, pretty good anime season. Um, like I said, I think I was a little disappointed in a couple things. There are a couple shows that. Oh, Canadian Papa Bear, just subscribe. Just pop it in. Uh, to sub real quick. Hope your night and stream go awesome. Thank you very much, Kadeem Papa Bear. That is a three. That's the third month of a tier three. Thank you so much, uh, folks. Let's throw the Bear Cave emote in there. Uh, say thanks, Kadeem Papa Bear. Uh, you can throw both emotes in. Harold's throwing it in there. Ultron. Everybody's saying thank you. We appreciate that very much. Uh, nine and nine. These X's. Okay. Will I get sick of these crosses stickers? Probably. I hope probably. Second month of tier three, I think. First was prime. Yes, indeed. Yes, I believe you upgraded to tier three, which I appreciate very much. Um, all right, so let's do this. Let's put symbol in there. Yeah, I'll probably eventually get sick of these of this putting this particular sticker on. Because we do have six more. I mean, we have we have uh, three more kits after this, so we'll have six more Tonys to build. So a lot of Tony choppers. But yeah, um, like I said, this has been a good season of anime. Like yeah, I've been disappointed by a couple shows that I thought would be better. Uh, I had a higher hopes for Girly Air Force. I probably should have known based on the name Girly Air Force that it actually was going to end up being more about the girls and less about the Air Force. But, you know, overall, I am pleased. I also was definitely, Angel Flew Down to me, uh, um, I thought was going to be way better. Um, but it is creepy in a way that is not fun. I like the idea of, like, the older sister coming out of her shell, trying to become a whole person or more of a person, and with the support of her sister and her friends, but it's like just so creepy in some parts that I can't, I can't with it. Clips are fine, but overall I'm like, nope, not into it. Um, uh, Kakaguri, um, I can't, I tried. I just don't like that show. I, I have tried it. F, um, it is just not for me. Uh, I don't know if it's the facial expressions or if it's the subject matter, but I tried with that show and just fell right off. I think I got like three episodes in. Uh, are those uh, Perler tweezers? So these tweezers, uh, I can't re read the name on it anymore. Um, they came in this kit, this iFixit kit that I, that I have here. Um, so I don't actually know which which tweezers these are. They're good. They're helpful. I've used them a few times. But yeah, this is just the iFixit kit that I bought on Amazon at some point. Uh, but yeah, I don't remember the brand. Dellcast, maybe? I don't know. This is a bunch of random stuff in this kit. So, of course, the, the uh, screwdriver doesn't come in there. Uh, yeah, I think that, like, there's, yeah, there's just something about that show that doesn't really do it for me. Now, if you want to talk about a show that does it for me, it's My Roommate is a Cat. That show, I didn't expect it to be to be so emotional about it, because it's a fucking lot, and you have to know that it's not just like, oh, a goofy dude gets himself a cat. There's a fucking lot to it, and it's, there's, it's a, it's a heavy show, um... But it's good. Good. Lots of great minor characters in that show. Great supporting cast. Um, but I think that, you know, and as, as I've said, 
the the big thing about my roommate is a cat is that you, that you need to like walk away from is that like it is about the growth of a shut-in writer but it is also about a cat uh that is for the first time like a pet and like living in a home and then like trying to figure this out and both like find their place and it's it's heavier than I thought it was going to be, as I said. Um, and some episodes are really heavy. But overall, it's like... And also, I love that, like, some episodes you get from both perspectives, which I think is really fun. Uh, yeah, no, this is... Um, German, I'm not sure. These tweezers, like I said, they, they have a name on them. Uh, I think it says... I think it's just Delcast. I think these are Delcast products. But I've got a bunch of different things here. The spongers are the ones I use the most, but on, on tiny stickers, I often use tweezers uh, to just apply them because I have found they work out pretty well. Got another, speaking of which, we do have one more sticker coming in, so we got to get that going. Um, but yeah, I think that that time I got reincarnated as a slime, second part, which is you know this season, Mob Psycho season two is in, is great. Um, my roommate is a cat is really good. Uh, I'm enjoying this this section of Black Clover. Uh, we're now in a tournament setting, as, and I think I said this on Thursday. A thing I really like about Black Clover that's really weird is how. There's art, some of the art design of some of the characters who are the, ostensibly the good guys just look evil as fuck. And I really like that. And so we have a uh, Zev, I think his name is. I don't know. We got this guy who's got like fucking fang teeth and a real like emo looking like, ed not emo, but like edgelord looking mask uh, that does trap magic. And it's, kind of, it's just a big asshole. But he's a good guy. He's a good knight. Magic knight. And I like that. I've definitely really enjoyed that about the series. Because, like, there's also this character, Jack the Ripper. Who's, like, a magic knight that just looks like a fucking praying mantis. And he's got blade magic, which is just, like, big blades stick out of his arms. And that's his magic. He's just like, just looks so fucking evil. But it's like, nope, he's a good guy. He's there to help out. He's a jerk about it, but he's there to help out. I don't know, it's just something really, I really like about that show. Uh, yes, Durman. There's a lot of defying of expectations in that show, which I, I appreciate. Uh... I can't pick up another Shonen. Fairy Tale, Naruto, Bleach. Targo burn me out. Not for Shonen, only read OP and Hunter Hunter whenever it comes out. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I mean, I I'm I let uh, Fairy Tales back, and I'm letting that like build up, and I get caught up, and I'm letting that build up. Black Clover is my Shonen right now. I mean, my when my hero comes back, obviously I'm going to watch. Maybe not obviously. I love My Hero Academia. I'm going to watch My Hero Academia when more episodes come out. Because it's fucking rules. Um, but I understand if, like, like I'm not watching Radiant. Uh, I I stopped watching it because uh, it was just taking way too long to get where I wanted it to be. Uh, to get over that hump into, like, the main character actually being helpful. Whereas Black Clover, Asta who is just a lovable dummy gets competent in his abilities like pretty quickly and he gets more abilities as it goes but like he can fucking wield the sword in the first episode like that's very helpful for a shonen show yeah which I really appreciate because sometimes it's like sometimes you're just like oh god just get Get good, please. Sadly, I can't watch My Hero Academia. It feels very similar to Naruto during the golden days. 
but I understand the appeal. Yeah, I, I can see that. Oh, I am watching Baruto. Right now we're in filler, but I will probably, once it gets into, like, heavy story stuff, I'll probably get off. Right now they're in, like, focusing on minor characters, and I'm enjoying that, other than, other than the Sasuke episode, which was really annoying, because he's a bad dad. I don't need an episode about him trying to become a better dad. He's a bad dad. Uh, but yeah. Um, I understand. I like my hero. Oh no, Pat, why are you doing this hero? Look, Af, it's, yeah. Sasuke, I don't know. Here's the thing. Goku is stays dead and then could come back and doesn't. Sasuke is alive and just chooses to be on a mission all the time. He chooses to, he could work in the village. He could work in the village anytime he wants. He could also get a new hand anytime he fucking wants. They could build him a new hand. But instead, he's got to be like, uh, I'm, I'm on the road. I'm in my redemption pay, f period. I mean, I'll come home and make a child with my girlfriend who I, as far as I can tell, they, as far as I can tell, they are n n common law at best. I am fairly certain that Sasuke and Sakura uh, and uh, uh, did not get married, which is a bummer for her because it is the continued just like whatever about that character, which is a bummer. Always has been, always will be. Just a real big bummer. Um, but yeah. Barto feels like GT. Yeah, I mean, there's some cool stuff. Uh, there's some cool stuff to Barto. Uh, I do, look. Do I like a show where like, hey, it's this characters you like, grown up. Hey, it's this this character's like this character. These characters had a kid. It's like it's like when the crea like it's the creator making his own fan fiction and like I kind of like that. Like here's interesting new character. Hey, what would the, what would the world be like if, you know, if in the Leaf Village if Naruto like became the the Hokage? Like, oh, well this would happen and this would happen. And I'm like I don't know. I'm into that. I think that's kind of cool. Um, all right, we got to build some arms here. I don't know. Super 17. Look. <sighs> GT has moments that are interesting. But overall, GT is not good. Uh, I do appreciate that it is the final fuck you to fans that could never accept Gohan as the main character. That looked at the Great Saiyan arc and were like, no, Teen Gohan in school? No, thank you. Where's Goku? I appreciate that. that and even like, what about Goten? Hey, we got Goten. Goten's going to do some fun stuff with Trunks. Isn't that kind of cool? You love adult Trunks. What about young Trunks? And the fans were like, no. When's Goku going to win? Hey, why is Gohan powering up? This should be Goku's fight. And so finally they're just like, all right, you know what? Fine. Fuck you. Goku's a kid again. It's still Goku, but he's a child. And fuck you. You love adult trunks so much? Well, here's this version of adult trunks. He sucks. Oh, you don't like Pan? I introduced Pan. Well, sorry. Pan is going to be Pan is going to be really powerful, but also whiny as shit. Enjoy it. You deserve this. You did this. I think there's something pretty spectacular about the huge fuck you that is Dragon Ball GT. Uh when Luffy goes to gets to become king of pirates, I just want Oda to retire. I I, I agree. Um, like I think that 
you know, we look at some of the mangaka out the some of the people out there, and it's just like they have these stories, and they they think they're gonna go forever, and it's like, but what? It, but what about your health? Like, think about your health, please. You don't have to. You don't owe this to us. Please. Feel free to stop when you want to. Uh. Oh, yeah. Also. Oh, yes. Yes. Also, an annoying asshole robot. I did forget about a robot. They also added a fucking robot. That sucks. You're right. I forgot all about the shitty robot friend. It's... Also, one of the biggest bads is named Baby. His name is Baby. But, Vegeta has a mustache. So yeah, Dragon Ball GT. Vegeta has a fucking mustache, y'all. He gets a haircut and has a mustache. And so it is not all bad. It's not all great. Also, uh, fucking spoilers for Dragon Ball GT. There's a whole arc where the Dragon Balls have been corrupted because they've been used so much that they become, they become like evil versions of it that are dragons that are like represent wishes. Uh, and one of the dragon dragons that is a, that is an actual Dragon Ball dragon uh, is the representation of the very first wish uh, used in the series all the way from Dragon Ball. So it is a callback. Uh, it is a callback to like the first 13, like episode 12 or 13 of the series of Dragon Ball. That is unbelievable and epic and awesome. It almost makes up for all of GT. But yes, also Vegeta shouldn't have be able to get a haircut and grow facial hair like that. You're right. Yes, you're right. But it's good, so I don't care. Also, I think it sucks that uh, in Dragon Ball GT that Bra... The idea of Vegeta having a daughter that didn't ever want to fight and isn't trained to fight, I think is lame. I think it would have been cool if Bra, like, was a fighter. Or, or a scientist like her mom, and not just like a weird teen. Like a spoiled teen. Like, that was kind of a bummer. But whatever. Dragon Ball GT isn't canon, so it's fine. Uh, Dragon Ball T, the series that includes Don't Shoot, That Man's Not Black. That is in Super, Asmo. And that is a line in Japan that feels bad. That I fucking cannot believe that they translated and is in the fucking dub. Look, I understand. They refer to a character as Goku Black, Okay. So sometimes they call that character black. That's unbelievable. He's Goku Black. So when Goku shows up, they think it's Goku Black. And then Trunks, that future Trunks goes, don't shoot, he's not black. And in the subtitle, fine. The Japanese, fine. But in the English dub, the fact that the, that Trunks' voice actor didn't go, hey, could I say that differently? Why didn't they fucking... S just the fact that no one was like, hey, we need to change this line. This is the not good version of the... We need to make a change. We need to say Goku Black or don't shoot. This is... He's not bad. We can't do this line. The fact that no one stopped them is unfucking believable. Ugh. Look, I'll always love Super because it gave me more great Saiyaman. And I am a firm supporter of Gohan as the main character of Dragon Ball. I loved Gohan in high school, that arc. 
the Great Saiyan Man arc. I loved it. I thought it was so fun. I loved Videl, like, trying to figure out what the fucking deal was up with this dude and the Golden Fighter and all that shit. And, like, she was Tsundere, but not really. And, like, just wanted to know what was going on and fucking smart. And it was just a cool idea that I wish had continued. I was such a big fan. Uh... Yes, yeah, Super also fleshed out what's great about Vegeta. Yes, uh, Vegeta explaining why he's with Bulma and why Goku is attracted to Chi-Chi is just like, he just says it like, there's just a line where he's just like, do you ever think about that? That's why I'm with Bulma. We we like strong, dominant women. That's the thing about Saiyans. And he's just like, what, you never thought about it? And Goku's like, no, I never thought about it. And then, apparently, because he has great hearing, which is a, a fun continuing gag in uh, in Dragon Ball, Piccolo's like, that explains everything. It's so fucking funny. It's one of the funniest gags in the show, in any of the Dragon Ball series. Just like Piccolo finally getting some sort of understanding of what they're into, why they're like, why they're the way they are. It's so fucking funny. Uh, like I said, there's there's some funny stuff about Super. Also, there's uh, moments of uh, of um, Piccolo taking care of Pan and being a great grandpa. That's really like I really love. So good Piccolo shit. Also, it's there's a moment in Dragon Ball Super that is unbelievably stupid in a way that should not exist that I don't I don't understand. Apparently Goku doesn't know what kissing is. Goku doesn't know what kissing is. Goku has had two children. He knows what mating is. He doesn't fucking know what kissing is. That's revealed in Dragon Ball Super. And that's stupid as shit. That is unbelievably, inconscionably, no justification possible, dumbest shit in the world. I put these together wrong because I was remembering about fucking Goku being just unbelievable. He did think marriage was a cake. He thought it was a party. He didn't understand what marriage was. Um, you're not wrong about that. It's 19. We gotta do this wrong. I gotta separate these things because I did them wrong. I feel like every week I get closer and closer to actually watching some Dragon Ball and then I hear something even weirder. It's the weirdest fucking show, Asmo. I love it. I mean, I've been watching it since since the, since the Dragon Ball appeared on U.S. television syndicated. And then I started, you know, watching subtitled and never looked back. But, I mean, I was so excited for Super. And some of Super is really great. But just Toriyama's sense of humor is so fucking weird. It's so weird. How does Goku not know what kissing is? That also means that Goku doesn't watch any sort of any form of entertainment. Which is like not super unexpected that Goku has no interest at all in anything that isn't martial arts. But it means he doesn't watch martial arts movies because not all of them, but in many martial arts movies people kiss each other. So he doesn't watch those. Never watch the thing with love story. Ugh, it's so dumb. Hard to get cable in the middle of nowhere. I guess. Uh, just complete nonsense. Uh, 
Beerus is great. I really love the concept of the, uh, I really do like um, that whole concept. I think tying Beerus in to further explain Frieza is incredible. Frieza's return is really interesting um, because it is not a complete. The thing that bothers me the most about Super, uh, not true, Pat, I've ever, have you ever seen those old Chinese martial art movies? There's no kissing there. There are some, not even necessarily in the Chinese ones, but in some Hong Kong films, there are redemption arcs and hero stories. Also, a lot of uh, Japanese martial arts movies involve uh, ha wives and children being murdered. But they start with the opening scene of, like, the husband and wife happy together. And they often kiss. And then people get murdered. And then someone has to go on a long series of diabolical revenge samurai shit. Um, what was it? The thing that bums me out the most about Super is that it take, that it um, negates the end of Dragon Ball Z. And kind of, like, rewrites it. Uh, which, in some ways, is fine but in one way is bad in a way that I don't like. And that way is that I really wanted Oob to be a character, an important character. Because uh, even in Dragon Ball GT, Oob doesn't really become anything super important. But I just wanted there to be a... Um, just like that Indian kind of like Mar like he's the strongest human on the planet because he has the soul of Boo reincarnated in him. And I think that it's there's something in so interesting about that that could be incredible that is they don't do anything with in Super because Oob hasn't been born yet. Or I don't know. Look, Af, I didn't think it necessarily did anything particularly great in um, in GT with him, but I think the concept of him is cool, and I would like them to do something with it. Uh, there's a there's an artist that did a illustration of um, King Chapa from Dragon Ball as an old man training uh, Oob that I thought was cool. I thought that was a cool art idea. All right, we're almost done with this kit. Just gotta put a. Uh, a bubble on this bubble on here then put our friend in here uh, I don't mean to take place between second I mean doesn't it take place so no Durman because they Maybe the events of everything that's happening in Super happens before the last episode of Dragon Ball, the last couple of episodes of the tournament. Uh, but I don't think so. I think it is a rewrite. Um, I like Oob. Yes. Yes, he couldn't throw key blast. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't think it... I don't think it's... It's like what happens and then they jump to the last tournament. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Maybe it is. But I think it's just instead of those episodes, this happens. Is what they're going for. Uh, oh, we got... I don't know why we have these things. Construction pieces here keep those there all right so here is our um here is our little friend we completed two of these today which is great um tournament is like 10 years later superstars three months after z yeah but i don't i don't know if it's i i don't like i said i don't know if it's all of super happens and then the tournament happens because in the tournament like, obviously, they already filmed it, but, like, nobody talks about anything that happened in Super. Which you think they would mention something about it. But I don't know. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Um, all right. So, so here is uh, our other chopper kit, our second chopper kit, and I can show you what it transforms into. But basically, these go down. Or, Um, this goes like this, this goes like this. This comes up and off. Hmm. This comes off. This goes like this. And then like that. So basically, this becomes the arms of our big kit. So our big head is going to go like this eventually when all the parts are assembled. That's a nice, it's a nice easy uh, kit or part of it. Uh, stream wrap uh, means it's time for pizza in the first F1 GP of the year. Not a bad way to spend a Saturday night. Asma, that sounds great. Yeah, we're just about done with the stream. I'm going to uh, pop this back on so I can take photos of this kit. Um, but yeah, we have uh, we have finished two of our uh, of our kits here. We will have to uh, work on three, four, and five uh, on Monday. We'll keep going with these kits. Thank you very much for watching. Um, uh, that's the end of the stream. Remember to uh, uh, become a subscriber. If you haven't already, consider doing that. That would really help me out. Uh, tell your friends on Monday at 9 p.m. Sorry, 10 p.m. Monday at 10 p.m. Eastern, I will do my stream. Oh, and so next Saturday, next Saturday, I am streaming at a different time than normal. I'm going to go look it up the actual time because I forget. Um... But yeah, next Saturday, a week from tonight, I'm streaming the afternoon because I'm working a shift at night. So I'm doing an evening stream uh, just so that or you know, early afternoon stream because I'm going to work at night. So next Saturday, the 23rd, I'm streaming from 4 p.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to do uh, a stream, uh, uh, remote stream, then I'm going to go to work and work a shift because the next weekend I'm away at PAX. So I'm covering a shift so that I can get covered back. So that's next Saturday. So next Monday and Thursday are the normal 10 p.m. till midnight. Next Saturday is 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. I hope you can join me. Thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, I will see you next time on the Bilbo Bear Workshop in two days. Good night and goodbye.